Okay, today we're gonna get back to talking about scout rifles. And so this is specific scout rifle content, but we're gonna be talking about slings. Now, I wanna give you just a brief history on slings because what I have kind of stumbled onto, I think is as game changing as when Eric Ching developed the Ching sling. Eric Ching worked with Colonel Cooper and the original sling that Colonel Cooper was using on a scout was called a CW sling. And that was just a simple loop with a half twist in it from the fore end around to just behind the magazine. It didn't have this tag end on the back. So to use it, you would just throw your arm through it, loop in, and now you have a loop sling. And what a loop sling does is two things. Number one, it pulls the gun back and down onto your forearm. So your forearm is being driven down into whatever support you're using, in this case, my knee. But it also holds your forearm upright. So those are the two jobs of a, of a, of a shooting sling. Well, Eric Ching came along and said, well, you know, if we add this little tag end to the back, then we can use it as a shooting strap or a carry strap. So you can carry the rifle over your strong side shoulder, American style, or you can come African style. And either way works fine. Now, the problem with either one of those are they don't work great. Yeah, you can walk like this if you're just walking out to your stand, but you generally need to hold on to the gun because otherwise it's going to slip off your arm. That is true either on on either side and it's not a huge deal but it does tie up one of your hands but it works it works because it's both a carry strap and a shooting sling Andy from Andy's leather came along and he said well we can do the same thing but we don't need that extra sling swivel and he developed the Rhodesian sling again works as a carry strap or just shoot your arm through here and now you have again a proper shooting sling so great ideas but it means that you're carrying the gun over one of your two shoulders and that might be fine but i was watching some videos the other day and i was researching for another project i'm trying to learn more about two-point slings on tactical rifles and as I am watching these videos on tactical rifles, they were showing the, uh, the MS-1 sling from Magpul. And a very similar sling to it is the Vickers, uh, Vickers sling from Blue Force Gear. Well, both of these work basically the same way. And that is, it has a sliding buckle that shortens up the sling and you pull that little buckle forward and it allows the cool guys doing the cool guy stuff with the AR-15s to have a gun that is up tight against their body, allows them to run with the gun, to move with the gun, go to a pistol without, and by the way, you'll notice that the gun rolls over here. An AR-15 doesn't. This one does just because of where the swivel is and where the center of gravity is. But the whole idea is, is that they can run with this, they can do whatever they need, and it's already in the pocket of their shoulder when they bring the gun up. It's very tight though. So if they need to move around at all, they just pull this buckle, slide it back, and now they have room, they can switch shoulders, they can do whatever they wanna do for all the cool guy go fast stuff. But as I'm watching this video, I watch them pull that little buckle and that buckle opens up a loop. I said, um, that looks very much like the loop that you would need on a shooting sling. And I did all sorts of research. I couldn't find anybody that was using that loop as a, uh, as a shooting aid. And I was a little baffled as to why. Now, Magpul does make what they call the RLS, the uh, Rifleman Loop Sling, which uh, is just a simple two-point sling. It's not meant to be carried in the tactical way, but it does have a deliberate loop but no one's using these tactical slings with this loop. So I said, well, let's see if it'll work. So I ordered one. 
And by the way, my seven-year-old daughter is my cameraman today. And, and so if you notice the tipping and everything, uh, she's, she's doing a great job, but uh, let's try and keep it steady, please. So, uh, so now I went out and I bought one of these things and I got the light version. The difference between the RL1, I'm sorry, the MS1 and the MS1 Lite is the MS1 Lite has the one inch webbing, uh, which means it'll fit onto the millet swivels that we have on the Steyr Scout. So that's how it works. I can shorten it up just by pulling it up like that. And again, I can hike, I can move, I can climb over logs, I could you know, cross a stream. I don't have to worry about the gun falling off. It is not going anywhere. It is held very securely onto me. If I give it a little bit of length there, here's where it gets cool. I can shoot my arm through this loop, punch the gun up into the air. When I punch the gun up into the air, then it slides that loop up my tricep, and now I have a shooting sling. A really effective one, as a matter of fact. I need to go a little shorter on that, but yeah. So right there, that's pulling the gun down, and it's holding my arm upright, just like a proper shooting sling should. I was amazed. This really works. It's fast. It's easy to get into. It's not quite as fast as a ching sling for looping up, but it's a lot faster than a ching sling for the snapshot. If I'm just going to be doing a snapshot, if I'm walking around, that's fast because I don't have to bring it off of my shoulder. I just bring it up. It's like being in the low ready position already before the timer even goes off. So that's cool. And then I can, again, use it as a loop sling for when I need more precision and more steadiness and more recoil control. So I think it's kind of revolutionary. I think it's kind of game changing. And this will work on the Steyr because the Steyr has the, the, uh, the sockets on the side here. <coughs> I think it'll work fine on a Ruger. I haven't tried anything like that yet. Um, but yeah, it, it seems like a terrific idea. Now, there's a couple of things that I would change. If I were designing this sling, there's a couple things I'd do a little bit different. And I'm gonna be trying to get a hold of Magpul and talk to them about that. A couple of minor product improvements, and I think that this really, really answers a lot of things that the scout rifle community can make very good use of. So let me know what you think. Try it out. This is, again, the MS-1 Lite give it a try let me know your at your reactions and i'm going to be doing some more videos on this uh, this actually works really well with the uh, sig cross i'll show you that in a future video so subscribe to my youtube channel and thank you for watching